Good afternoon, I'm Lee Anderson. Over the weekend, two people died at Mount Bachelor, and a third was flown to St. Charles Bend. Noah Chass joins us now with an update. Noah? Yeah, Lee, right now Mount Bachelor is not offering any further statement from what they released on Saturday, expressing shock and their deepest sympathies. But the three serious accidents in a row has sparked a serious conversation in the skiing community about the recent mountain conditions and the risks. Friday afternoon around 1225, Mount Bachelor Ski Patrol responded to an injured skier. A witness says he hit his head. By 1 p.m., the 66-year-old skier was pronounced dead. Nearly 24 hours later, Ski Patrol responded to another injured skier. The 60-year-old man reportedly was wearing a helmet when he hit a tree. A medical helicopter landed but was called off, and the man was pronounced dead shortly after 1 p.m. Then on Sunday morning, an Airlink helicopter was called to Mount Bachelor again for a medical emergency. A 64-year-old man was taken to St. Charles Bend. No further details about his condition have been released. Three days of serious incidents, including two deaths, have gotten the ski community talking. One viewer told News Channel 21, We left early on Friday as we'd never seen so many accidents, close calls, and out-of-control skiers and snowboarders. Prayers for the lost and injured, and kudos for ski patrol, but Bachelor needs to pay more attention to out-of-control skiers and riders. In the Mount Bachelor Conditions Facebook group, one member who says a friend of his was skiing with Friday's victim says the accidents almost always have nothing to do with marking off pissed hazards or what Mount Bachelor does or does not do and everything to do with the skier's inability to arrest a slide when he or she goes down on fast snow at speed. I say this because conflating the issue by blaming the resort or industry does nothing to make us safer and doesn't reflect the realities of the data. There are a number of other posts with lengthy comment sections addressing the conditions of the mountain currently and where to go from here. Mount Bachelor President and General Manager John McLeod said in a statement Saturday, We are heartbroken and in shock that two of our guests have tragically passed away on our mountain in the past two days. Our deepest sympathies go to the family and friends of those who passed. The entire Mount Bachelor community is grieving with you tonight. One ski shop employee I spoke to said he has not seen a decrease in people renting equipment nor an increase in people canceling their rentals. With snow forecasted, the conditions at the mountain should change, but experienced skiers still warn to know your limits. Lee? Tonight in our web poll, a related question, is enough being done about safety in winter sports, or is it up to the individual to weigh in? Head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage.